take you. Today, this old man will show you what life after. <laughs> what life after CSIS is all about. So this is me getting ready to work for the day. This is me attending my classes. This is me playing around and wasting my free time. Food. Brush my teeth. Repeat everything I did earlier and... Well, it's time for me to go to sleep. Well, now I know what some of you are th probably thinking right now. Why is he inside his room all the time? Why isn't he in college? I is he a failure? Well, first of all... I am not a failure! failure. Second, my college actually decided to have a whole year of online learning, so didn't really have a choice. Even then, though, I do miss meeting people and having a social life. And for that, I really thank CSIS for having such a tight and close community. Yeah, the teachers and students were really close. So, remember to pray always. Be happy! Wear your mask. Hi guys, uh, my name is Natasha. Uh, some of you know me as Shasky, and I graduated from CSIS in 2019. And right now, I'm finishing my sophomore year in college. I was asked to share some things from my college experience and give you some tips so I'll just jump right into it first of all what does my daily life look like um, currently I'm doing online learning and I am in my third semester uh, so because of that my daily life is pretty much the same every day and it's very chill I wake up do my morning routine and then take classes from 10 till 12 p.m. or on Thursday till 2 p.m. The rest of the day, I just rest or do assignments or enjoy family time. That's pretty much it, all I can share. Um, during the other semesters, my class ended at 5 p.m. But for the rest of it, I do the same thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it, all I can share about my daily life. So I'll just jump right into the second point. Right. What is my major? My major is secondary English and literature education. Um, do I enjoy it? Yes, I enjoy it very much. It's very fun actually. Um, the reason why I chose education is because I believe that it's something that God's been preparing me for many years and I decided to just jump right into it and fulfill my calling as a teacher. Um, why I chose secondary English and literature is because, and not primary, because I had I had experience with primary students, little kids, and I just realized that it's not something that I'm great at or where I feel like I belong. And when I teach English and literature, I feel a lot more comfortable and I enjoy it a lot more because I do like those subjects. Uh, learning them is fun, but teaching them is even more fun. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much all about my major and I enjoy it. And um, I'm having a great time with what I'm learning, right? The third thing to talk about is a valuable lesson that I learned in CSIS. There are lots of things that I learned in CSIS, but the most important one is there is always a purpose behind everything. God never makes anything without a purpose, right? Um, I still hold on to it and it's still very, very useful in my life. and. Uh, there are always times in your life there where you're gonna feel lost or you're gonna feel like you don't have a purpose and you're gonna ask God, why am I here? What am I doing? Do I even have a purpose, God? You can ask those questions. You might not have all those answers, right? Uh, but at least you will have a sense of direction if you trust God. He has a purpose, He has a plan. Just trust Him and He will lead you where you're supposed to be.
Okay, that's a very important lesson that I learned and I use it to this day, starting from ninth grade. Okay, I'll just move on to tips, give you tips because this is, these are important, all right? First tip that I want to share is make sure that you're very careful with the kind of friends that you're gonna choose in freshman year because in freshman year, everybody is gonna be looking for friends, everything is new. That's why you need to be careful because you need to make sure that you're able to balance your social and your academic life. And the types of friends that you will choose will help you do that, actually. So make sure you're very careful with you, what kind of friends you uh, start hanging out with, all right? Second thing uh, to share is do not expect your college life to be perfect and to be always fun, okay? There are going to be times where it's going to be really, really tough. Um, right now you might think, oh yes, I'm finally graduating from high school and I'm going to go to college. It's going to be all fun and games, but tell you what, college life is not all that, okay? There's going to be, it's going to be tough. There are lots of assignments and the assignments are a lot more difficult than in high school. So just prepare yourself do not set those high expectations for your college life sometimes you might get disappointed and it's gonna might affect you a lot okay and the last tip is listen to your teachers right now guys uh, listen to mr jordan uh he's whatever suggestions he, he gives when i was in high school i laughed at them but then now i um i appreciate those a lot because most of them, I use them in my life, and they're very useful. Uh, not only from Mr. Jordan, but from other teachers, actually, as well. Um, you might not realize it now, but in college, you will realize it, and you will see how important those uh, lessons were. All right? Uh, this, is our pretty, this is pretty much all I can share with you guys. I hope you have a great experience in college, and listen to your teachers, and have fun. Bye! Hello, this is Cooper, <laughs> and I'm the class of 2019. Um, after graduating CSIS, I went to college in the States, and there I worked as a Korean language tutor and also served as a priest team drummer in my youth group. Uh, and these days, I've been tutoring three elementary school students uh, from CSIS. The eight years I've spent in CSI has really taught me about uh, the attitude that I need to take towards life. Uh, before, I always tried to do things on my own and always complained about uh, all my weaknesses. But now, instead of doing that, I try to rely on God for every decision and happily, uh, happily look forward to what He will do in my life. Uh, yeah, I know some of you may be worried about your future. Uh, I was like that too, really. But I hope you guys can remember that um, God is always with you and He has a special plan for each one of you. So if you follow Him, He will definitely guide you through all that process. So yeah, amen. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Hi guys, this is Grace and I'm here to share my life and major. I think many of you don't really know who I am, so I will briefly talk about myself. I'm Grace Lee, I graduated CSIS in 2017 and I went to MICA in Maryland, which stands for Maryland Institute College of Art. I was a painting major in my school, I worked really hard and fortunately I graduated college in three years. So. I am working as an artist right now. You might wonder what does the artist do in daily life, so this is a, one of the top secret in my life, but here's what I do. I paint in studio or at home and play with a cat and paint, obviously, and play with a street cat and paint again and play with another street cat and have some exhibition sometimes and go to a museum to get some inspiration. I want to become a person who can influence people in a positive way. And I thought about what I can do. 
and the answer was nothing, actually. When I was in high school, I was suffered from mental illness, but I thought it is a chance. Since I experienced sorrow, I could understand people who are in the same circumstances. So I decided to make art that could heal people with comfort and understanding. Artists don't only paint, we make sculptures, perform, paint, and do a lot of crazy stuff. I cut my hair as a part of my art, and sometimes I let audiences to rip my artwork and exhibition. It is very challenging, but also satisfying. I love my life as an artist. Compared to other jobs, an artist has so much freedom. I paint whenever I want to paint, I get up whenever I want to get up. If I have to pick one lesson that I still hold on, is everything happens for reasons. Because God plans for us, and His plan is the best for every single one of us. Lastly, I have something to tell you guys. Dear freshman, ninth grade, enjoy your school life. This is the last year that you can play. And dear sophomore, do you feel pressure? Of course, yeah. Everyone does. Think about why you feel anxiety. Maybe you are not prepared enough or you have too much high expectation to yourself. It's fine to make mistakes. It's fine to get A minus or B plus or B, but maybe not C. So watch out, students who are getting C. I think do your best is the key. Dear juniors, this is the hardest time in your life, but you are almost there. Don't give up till the end. Your teachers, parents, lots of some others felt the same way. Everything looks uncertain. What you can only do is do your best and be appreciated to God. Dear seniors, great job. You guys made it. You are finally free from school. Hello, whoever's watching this. My name is Hee Sung and I graduated from CSIS about six years ago. So I heard you folks are having a lot of thoughts about what major you should study when you go to college. I was a psychology major myself at the University of Illinois. And having just graduated from the school, hopefully I can provide you guys with some useful opinions and insights about what it's like to be a psychology major in college. So question number one, what does your daily life look like? As, um, Aside from going to two or three classes, traveling across the campus, just like every other majors would do, if you're a psychology major, you have a, a lot of essays to write and a lot of online research that comes with essays. So my daily routine used to be um, like going to two or three classes that typically finish at 4 p.m. Then I go to gym and spend about an hour and a half working out. Yeah, I take a shower, have a dinner, and go to library from 7 p.m. to midnight, or even later, depends on how much things you have to do. Question number two, why psychology and how do you like it? Um, I had a lot of interest in humans, body language, and criminal, criminal psychology as a senior in high school. So my academic plan was to major in psychology as an undergraduate student and go to graduate school to study criminology to become a profiler or criminologist. However, the plans changed and now I'm studying to go to law school. Uh, the study of psychology by a simple definition is, is the study of mind brain, behavior, and social interaction. Um, therefore, the spectrum of topic ranges from different brain parts and hormones to even the history of genocide and slavery. And what I love about being a psychology major is that you get to learn and discuss a lot about why we do what we do. Um, 
behavioral psychology classes, for example, will teach you about how your brain and hormones control your body and thoughts, while social psychology classes will teach you how people's actions and beliefs are constructed through social interactions with other people. Therefore, it's up to you to decide which um, sub area you like to explore further, and the classes you'll have to take will differ accordingly. Um, and most of all, I like to encourage you guys to take as wide range of classes within psychology as a freshman and choose which field of psychology you like to pursue after. Additionally, um, many psychology classes are cross-listed with sociology classes and it means that uh, a particular class you take can be either a psychology course or sociology course by choice. And uh, sociology discusses a lot about um, the equality issue and I strongly recommend that you take as many sociology classes as a psych major so that you can continuously challenge your thoughts and perspectives about, about the issue of equality, of race, money and opportunity and etc. that are happening all around the world. And tips, if you have an ultimate goal, then stick with it. But if you don't, just remember how much your parents have invested in you instead of buying things they want you to buy. Hi everyone! My name is Laura Kim and I'm an alumni from class of 2018 and I wanted to congratulate you on your graduation and share a little bit of my life here in San Francisco. Hopefully this will give you an idea of what it's like to live away from home. Hope you enjoy! I've been working from home for a year and a half in Zoom meetings with my coworkers at my home office. These are my coworkers that I dearly miss. I graduated from Berkeley studying economics and statistics, and I'm currently working at the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco as a policy and data analyst with the focus of currency research. I've always wanted to do economic policy work since college, and now I enjoy being an analyst, being a policy advisor to decision makers that make an impact in our economy. I enjoy presenting my work to internal and external partners, and I used to really enjoy being able to travel to a lot of conferences and training well before COVID-19. These days after work, I would go for a walk, make some dinner, and play with our dog Coda for a little bit. In the evening, I usually go out to the city to get dinner with friends, hang out, or do Bible study. One vision I hold on to is to become a Christ-centered global leader to serve his kingdom. A verse I hold on to is Colossians 3.17 says, Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. In all we do, our primary goal is to honor God's name, and that can come from how we do our work with integrity and how we treat others with respect and good intentions. I think knowing that I'm called to steward my talents, work, and my relationships anchored me and brought me to where I am now. One advice I could give to the graduating seniors is to be intentional and make friends and create community you can call home away from home. Most importantly, have fun and don't fear or imagine your future without God. New transitions can be scary, but your friends, family, teachers, and ultimately God is with you. So I pray that you can enjoy your next journey. Congratulations.